Hi, you can call me Bridget, and this is my story. I will be hiding my identity to protect myself from a defamation lawsuit, but I swear everything I say is true. I will be showing video of beautiful scenery instead of my face until I decide to reveal myself. I, going against all the red flags being waved right in front of my face, married a douchebag. I knew he was a douchebag, but I couldn't help myself. I had told myself the lie that I could change him. Turned out, he changed me more than I ever expected. I never fully appreciated the term mental abuse until I met D.B. D.B. made a game of breaking me down until I was figuratively chewing my leg off to get out of the trap that was our relationship, and then he'd make another game about trying to get me back into it. During that time, he was often drunk, had unpredictable rages, had been physically violent on many occasions, systematically destroyed our house. You know what? He destroyed things, but he never fixed anything. So you would walk around our house, and there'd be doors hanging off of hinges and stuff like that. <clears throat> if something broke, it never got fixed. Nope, never fixed it. He was, he was useless. <sighs> but back to the list. Berated me both in private and in front of people. Interestingly enough, he was a perfect angel in front of my family. Would be uncharacteristically nice one day, then nasty the next. Had unpredictable behaviors. Ruined special occasions unless they were about him. Pick a fight with me before Valentine's Day and anniversaries. We never once celebrated an anniversary. Has broken my nose, spit in my face, and showed me nothing but contempt. Has embarrassed me at work. Started wars with the neighbors. He even got us sued. And that's when I left him for good, the first time. I brought a lot to the table, and it was completely ignored. I had a good job with good pay, and when I wasn't at work, I was working hard at home. I found myself becoming a workaholic, both at work and at home, to try to avoid him. If I took any me time, he gave me something to do. Someone had given me a box of books, and he threw them away because they were wasting my time. Every accomplishment was his. Everything we worked together for was his, and he was perfect, and I was a perfect moron. He would frequently tell me that I made our marriage suck, and to get out of his life. But when i try to get out of his life, he'd come and drag me back. It was slavery at best, and a living hell. Were there good times? Absolutely. But dwelling on the good times was counterproductive to getting me out of there. We were married for three years when I finally left him for what I thought would be the last time. I was over him. I didn't want to go back, but he used every resource at his disposal to worm his way back in. Me, having absolutely no boundaries, let him bully me into marriage counseling. I went in protesting. I made it clear that I did not want this relationship and the marriage counselor took his side and convinced me to start dating him again. To this day, I don't trust mental health professionals without life experience. If you learned it in the book, you are not helpful. This was back before narcissism was a clinical diagnosis. Anyway, this counselor had no business pushing me into dating someone who had been physically violent and mentally abusive. Here's how boundaryless I was. I was at a point that he repulsed me. I didn't want him looking at me. I didn't want him touching me. And here I was going to counseling with and dating someone who gave me the heebie-jeebies. And I got pregnant with twins. I gave up and went back. Things were better until the kids turned three. He not only fell into old patterns, he was worse. The end for me was the day he had a really scary rage over me turning on the TV after I had worked a 12-hour shift, then went into the bedroom and fell asleep. 
I cried for about 10 minutes, then decided to reclaim my life. I was luckier than many. I had a good job and rent was cheap at the time. I arranged for an apartment and tolerated my current situation until I could move out. My emancipation from DB led to a series of games that would affect my and my children's entire life and taught me valuable lessons that I wish I had known when I was going through it. I am not a psychologist. I have no training. Every one of my videos will be based on my opinions, my observations, and my insights, and I hope they will help someone who is going through what I did find their way. I hope that every one of you who are fighting for your independence from a toxic relationship finds the peace and joy that you deserve. I am going to share how I did it and what I learned along the way. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.